Hey, welcome to this edition of Road Warrior. I'm your host, Grant Robertson. Now, we get behind the wheel of one of my favorite vehicles, and that obviously is a full-size truck. Now, this offering this week is the 2014 Dodge Ram 1500, and we're actually going to take a look at the overall package and really get to know this vehicle and tell you what it has to offer. One of the first things I love about a Ram 1500 is that it's a full-size truck, meaning you're going to demand attention and you're going to take up a lot of the road. Now, by the numbers, that's going to be right about 209 inches overall with a stretched 120-inch wheelbase. Now, this is the crew cab model, meaning you're going to get four full-size doors. Now, by the definition of crew, it literally means your crew can climb inside. Now, for me, that's a family of six. Now, disadvantages to some trucks is literally it's a two plus three design two people up front, obviously, three in the back. Now, those days of that full bench are typically gone, usually replaced with a full-size console in between the front passengers. Now, that's not the case on this particular model, as they really deliver crew cab comfort with that full bench option in the front and the three in the back, of course. Now, trucks, again, have come a long way since the old rugged days when they were rough on the eyes and on the back, meaning the suspension really isn't what it is today. Now, what you're going to find these new trucks is they're delivering the drivability to any driver, as it's not just a man climbing inside the vehicle. This vehicle can really cater to anybody. Now, one thing they've done on the outside is really made trucks more attractive. Obviously, the females are going to want something a little bit softer on the eyes versus the man's going to maybe want that huge grill up front and center. This type of vehicle really delivers the best of both worlds. One area that they do make most attractive is, of course, the rim choices. Now, a lot of trucks are going to that kind of low profile tread tire. Now, I don't prefer that because a truck should be rugged. Now, in this particular offering, it stayed just true. It's got performance 275 60R tires with a 20 inch rim. Now, one of the best advantages to a truck is the rear cargo box, basically allowing you to throw anything you want inside it and forget about it. Now, on the crew cab model, it's going to come standard with a five foot, seven inch box, or you can upgrade to the six foot four. Either way, it really allows you to kind of haul anything you want versus an SUV. You're really going to have to give it more thought because you can't pour gravel in the back of your sport utility vehicle. Now, on this particular particular model it came equipped with this rear kind of tonneau cover. Now there's tons of options out there aftermarket that are really going to kind of rise to the occasion. Now this is one particular model where it's really clasped inside meaning you're going to have to kind of undo the clasp and fold it back. Now what that does is makes this more of a cavern versus an open box meaning you're really going to have to slide everything in from the rear end. Now, the advantage to a tonneau cover is really that you're making this cargo box more secure. Of course, if you really want that, buy an SUV, not a truck. Because the disadvantage is that you really can't access the cargo bed probably like you're going to use it most of the time, which is throwing all your gear in quick and moving on. Now, with the new system they have here, the lock system built in with your key, basically it means that the old days of coming back here and locking the rear, ta rear tailgate is no longer. Simply press the button and it will lock right up. Now, obviously, when you get back here, you're going to drop the tailgate. Now, one disadvantage to this Dodge Ram, unlike some other models we've seen, is that when you drop the tailgate, it literally does drop. Now, other models we've seen have kind of a spring-loaded type system, allowing that tailgate to really ease down. This one, actually more cumbersome, can knock you in the head, falls right into place. Now, one thing that I noticed that was missing was a bed liner. Now, this is very important as it's really going to protect that cargo bed and give it more longevity. Now, without it, of course, dropping gravel in, really going to make this a ding affair, putting dents and scrapes in this vehicle and really not letting it hold up to the elements. Now, back in the day, the bed liner was kind of more of a drop-in piece and really after over time would begin to flutter and really become unglued. Now they're going with kind of a line -X system, really a sprayed in bed liner, really secured and not gonna have those issues over time where it's gonna kind of more or less fall out of the back of the truck. Now trucks have come a long way and I've talked about it before, but one of the best innovations they have is park assist. Now what that is is basically sensors around the vehicle that really help you in those tight spots, really in parking spaces and getting away from scratch and dent like back in the old days. Now a nice feature about that is basically that the front and the back and as you're backing up they're going to alarm. Now one little note is on a frost 
day, they're going to be covered up. And when you put it in reverse, the vehicle will literally squeal at you. Now they've fixed this problem by basically putting an off button on the dash, basically allowing you to turn it off in these type of scenarios. Another scenario where you're going to want them off is backing up to the trailer. Of course, you're going to like it because it's going to really alert you as you get close. But after a while, you're going to really not want to listen to it. Another nice feature backing up of course is that backup camera now it really comes really handy when you're trailering because how many of you really have been driving can't see the trailer have to get out see how close you are with that bird's eye view right there on the tailgate it's giving you that kind of hitch allowing you to really line it up in one fell swoop now I mentioned the key earlier and one thing I don't necessarily like about it is it's not the smart key system. Now before you start whining that oh god you got to connect it with the dash it just is more convenient because really when you kind of hop in here you really have a hard time fidgeting with the pocket because you've forgotten to get your key out. Now obviously you'll get over it if it's not a smart key system but it wouldn't be a bad thing to go to because the Jeep Grand Cherokees and other vehicles in the Chrysler lineup really have that system so why not put it on the Ram truck. Now I mentioned earlier, but one of the nicest features I love on this Ram is the three across seating you have up front, really taking that seating to another level, obviously giving you another occupancy. Now across the board, a lot of vehicles are traditional, going with that two up front, three in the back, but allowing this console to really tuck out of the way really gives you that space for one more crew member or a smaller individual where you otherwise wouldn't have. Now, of course, if I don't mention all the innovations you find on this vehicle, then obviously I've missed the boat. And most notable is that huge U-Link system right here on the dash. Now, we've tested this on a lot of Chrysler models, and it never fails to impress us. And most impressive about it is that Wi-Fi hotspot as you're going down the road. Now, obviously, this is an add-on service, but basically what it allows you to do is connect any type of electronic devices inside the vehicle on a Wi-Fi, basically allowing you to get better service maybe where you otherwise wouldn't have it. Now, other innovations you're going to notice on this particular model, it isn't a dual zone climate control like you have on some versions, but it's fine. You dial it in. Now, one thing I didn't like is the temperature control really is a numerical. It's actually more of a blue red gauge. Basically, take it up a little hotter, take it a little bit lower. Now, I really like the temperature gauge more specifically because you really kind of come accustomed to knowing that 72 degrees is your comfort level versus is it more blue or vert, more red. Now, last but not least is the overall ergonomics and first thing to note is the abundant cup holders right up here front and center. Most notable is the three right here. That's right, three. Now, that may seem overkill, but at some reason, at some point, you really just need that third cup holder, probably just to hold the cell phone while you put the beverages on both sides. Now, another nice thing I love is the huge abundant storage right here in this flip away console. Now, everything lays flat, but you also have access to an SD card reader, USB and auxiliary jack plus of course the power outlet. Now another nice feature on the dash is that full house outlet right here on the dash, the three prong, basically meaning you can take any type of device and plug it in as you're going down the road. Now one area you might not think of for cargo is right here in the cabin because of course you got that huge cargo box that'll take anything you throw at it. Now what's great is really you can transition this from seating to cargo in one fell swoop and Rams really made it easy. All you do is grab the bottom seat cushion, flip it up, and it opens this area to handle anything you want to put in here. Now the problem is that they really the floor isn't really level, but they fixed that as well. Basically they have kind of a floor system that folds into place making it fully level and one huge cargo area. Now one thing you're going to notice when you climb inside this vehicle or at least try to climb is that ground clearance. Now that's to be expected on a full-size vehicle like this as it's truly going to go in various elements and need that added height. Now the one drawback to that is really when you climb inside as this vehicle particular one does not have the optional step rails. A true option that you're really going to need. Now another typical Ram we test drove, it did have that air ride system basically allowing this vehicle to kind of raise and lower helping with that ingress and really kind of minimizing the need for those step rails. But in this particular model with young kids or even the ladies, they're really going to want that added step to help with the ingress in this vehicle. That does for this edition of Road Warrior and our test drive behind the wheel of the 2014 Ram 1500 crew cab model. Now we love how far trucks have come, really far from rugged and really more refined, offering of course all the interior volume like on this crew cab model, coupled with that huge cargo box in the back. Now again, I'd like to thank you for watching this edition of Road Warrior, and as always, keep both hands on the wheel and eyes straight ahead. Mm -hmm.